You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another crazy kit for you today. Of course, this is part of the Poppin' Cooking line. They show a little whisk and a spatula. You're gonna make some french fries. It looks like a chocolate covered banana, some corn, which looks really neat, something we've never done before. I've seen this called the festival kit, the street food kit, carnival kit, depending on where you're from, I guess. Now, I was struggling on the bag. Now, these instructions are so compact, my scanner for translation would not get very good results. So then I saw on the top of the box, they have this here. It's been on other boxes, I believe. Recipe English. I've just never done it with the QR code scanned in. So I scanned it in uh, about four or five days ago, maybe a week ago. The English directions were not there. But then I scanned it today before the video just to see. And look what I found. A nice set of instructions. So for anybody who requires that, they can go print that out themselves. It's really nice to have that as an option to do these kits. And then I saw the actual link to a video. I will show you here. Let me try. Here, let me do this. Let me come back. I just want to do this real quick with the lights off so you can see my phone a little bit better. Okay, I'm here because I like to learn, teach, and hopefully show you different things about products. And when I saw this, well, one, it's nice that they have all the English instructions for most of their kits. Like this one, no English instructions. It'll say recipe English, like this kit that we're looking at right here today. There it is. So I clicked on that, downloaded it, and that's how I was able to get it to print. And then I clicked on the CM and said to myself, CM, what is that? That is our YouTube channel where the actual commercial is for this product. Let's see. So if you want to see... Well, I'll cut this down. You got to go watch it. I don't want any issues with copyright here, but I do want to get to a point here. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so now I'm going to turn up my volume all the way. Now get ready. This is how they pronounce it. All right, so for everybody. It's the best way to find out how to pronounce something is go right to the company that is advertising their product. They would know how to say it, wouldn't they? Here we go. Crassier. Did you hear that? All right, it's going to go on autoplay, so I will be right back. All right, so why do I do that in the video? Well, I think the videos and information needs to be as accurate as possible. Now, I will probably continue to say crazy. I don't know why, um, but now we know Crassier. If I say that in a video, watch the next video, I'll say, hey, we're doing a Crassier product. People are going to say, it's not Crassier, it's crazy. But that's why I do it, I guess, just to try to get out as much accurate information as possible. All right. Enough of that. I know you all just want to get to the kit. Oh, that one shouldn't have ripped like that. I have to be careful because the box is going to come in handy. And it's going to probably be my backdrop. I read on here, it says make a case for the french fries from the sheet and put the french... Okay, so there's a lot going on with this set. Now look, this packaging needs to be cut. So I want to be careful opening this as well. Okay because we need this, it's our backdrop. And then here's all the packs. Right away, we know that is banana. There's our mixing spoon. There is the french fries. At least I think they're french fries. There's the chocolate for the banana. Here is the corn pellets. Here is the apple. What do they call it? It's a candy apple. So that's what that red thing was, just in case if you were wondering. I didn't know offhand what it was, but now I know because they told me and here is the mix for the bananas. It's actually a candy, not a mix, sorry. There's the toothpicks for skewering everything. Here is a flavoring for the chocolate, the topping there. And then the tray. So you have your banana shapes, your french fry shapes. They are gonna tell me which one to go on. This is for the corn. And I will need to cut this, but now we know what's included in the kit. And then let's just cut some of this while we're here. It looks like they want it straight across here. And straight across here. Okay. And then there's a line right here to cut this. Now these instructions I did not see in 
serious detail there. Oh, and I cut this out here. Okay, so this is the backdrop for my... They say save the box, I think, so I'll probably do something with that. But take a look at it now so you can see all the fun foods. Let's call them fun foods. Festive foods, fun foods. This needs to be cut out and shaped into a little cone, like a french fry cup. So people will say, your videos are so long, why? Well, because these kits really do take a long time. If you want to try to get them as close to the box as possible, there's no quick way around these kits if you're going to cut everything. And I usually don't edit that out. I just never have and probably never will. Even though it's totally hurting the channel. It's totally hurting the channel, believe me. For those of you that are devout watchers, you're helping the channel, but we need more of you. Okay, so here's my little cutting board. I might sometimes I put down a little piece of cardboard just to keep it flat because I'll use that. Okay, so that's set. Here, I'll tell you what, let me just cut this. It's nice, they show you right here, cut the corner for the water and then these trays out. Okay? Sometimes I think I move too fast there. But you can always pause. Okay, and then down here. And then cut this, these two apart. Okay, so at least got those steps done. Now I can get some water. I'll maybe set this up. I'll do this off camera so it's ready. I will tape this with you, but it looks like you're just gonna loop this around and set it so that that touches the blue. So I will tape that when I come back. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, a couple fun things. Flavors. It says the candy apples are apple flavor, the french fries are pineapple flavor, the corn is grape flavor, and the chocolate bananas are banana flavor. Only need water to make it, so you don't have to use any kind of cooking. For parents, due to age limitations, please help make this along with small children. And then use only, we use only natural colorings and no preservatives. We only use safety guaranteed ingredients. Of course, Wash your hand, prepare a glass of water, read the instructions. Okay, so I am all set for step number two, make candy apples. Pour two cups of water from the measuring cup into the tray marked with the star. And right there, it has the star. Now will this stand on its own? It won't, so I'm gonna kinda just wedge it in here, I guess, to get started. It doesn't even wanna stand there. Okay. Pour two cups of water from the measuring cup in the tray mark start. Add the candy apple mix. So, they want the water first. Here we go. There is one. And two. Simple enough. Packet number one has the little candy apples on there. Now, pour the mixture into the can. Okay, mix mix it 30 times with a spoon. I'm gonna use this. And then it says, pour the mixture into the candy apple mold immediately after you finish mixing. Okay, 30 times. I wonder if it's just easier. I'll do it this way. Now that that's poured, here we go. Ooh, the exciting part. 30 times. And that's probably because this will set up quickly. Anybody counting? I think that was 20. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, here we go. Mm. Here we go. And then into the candy apples. That's got to be it. They don't really show you, but let's just assume that is it. Here we go. I will stop there till I know I got some into this one. Ooh, a little bit over the edge, which is okay because there's a second layer there. 
Okay, nice. That worked out really good. All right, simple enough. Then make the french fries. Okay, so that's why this needs to sit. It says sit uh, for 10 minutes. Doesn't say to refrigerate. So french fries are now in this tray. All right, so let me rinse this one. I may need this one again, and I'll come back and now do the french fries. Okay, here we go. I'm still reading these directions off to the side. I'm trying to relay them to you as accurately as possible. Tip, make sure to mix well into the corners of the tray. Pour one cup of water from the measuring cup into the jagged bottom tray. Add the french fry mix and mix it well until the powder is completely dissolved. When it's well mixed, press it firmly with your fingers to flatten the surface. Turn the tray over, take the french fries out onto the cutting board on the mats, I can't read that, M-A-T-I-S-U-R-E sheet and cut them along the notches using the spoon. All right, so one scoop. Oh, you know what? I better get this one ready. I didn't grab my piece of tape. Let me get my piece of tape. Okay. You gotta get that that angle just right. Doesn't want to seem to match up exactly where you think it should go. There we go. All right. Oh, a little bit of a challenge. Okay, there we go. Now one scoop of water. You don't want it too bubbly over, you want it just on the line. There we go. Into the jagged tray. Now let's do this. This is kind of the part I enjoy. Kind of flipping it back and forth to get it all down to the bottom. Mix well into the corners, remember. And it says the french fries are pineapple. Okay, here we go. Are there crazy cross? I'm not gonna even say it. Are there crazy fans out there? I'm sure you're watching this, right? I think I've done every kit. Now, if you're a super duper crazy fan, go look at my playlist and tell me what I haven't done. Mm. Now, I know there's candy kits that I haven't done because I've done one of the candy kits. There might be like two or three in the series. But I've at least done one of them, you know, to try to show as many kits as possible. But it's one of those things. It's like once a month I just search for anything to do with kits like this to see if I'm missing one or I don't have one. Okay, I think I got it. I've been trying to be very careful with the with the corners. Now they show you with your fingers, so oh, good. Time to get in there. I can't remember if this is exactly how the fries were for the hamburger set, because that, that set had fries in it too. I'm guessing it's the same thing. I want to keep this flat. Lifting it up seems to change the shape. Look at the bottom. Press well, let's see. Looks pretty good. There might be a few little dry spots, but that's just par for the course, I guess. All right. Turn the tray over on my little cutting board. Now I put my little cutting board on a piece of like white cardboard to kind of give it a little extra stability. Let me take my tool here and just clean up around the outside edge. There we 
go. That's a nice little plunk at the French fries. Okay, and then cut them along the notches using the spoon. All right, so the first two are going to be bigger just because they are further. Uh, the end ones seem to be bigger French fries than the inner ones. Me personally, I probably would have took the dough out, mixed it in my hand a little bit better, and then they would have got rid of all the little dry spots. But I think overall that came out pretty nice. Okay, it doesn't say to put them in the little container yet. Maybe that's lighter. I'll figure it out. Along, okay, using the spoon. Step four, make the corn. Yeah, it doesn't say. So I'll wait to put everything together. Maybe they want them to little dry a little bit, but it does not say to put them in the little french fry case yet all right i'll be right back okay i don't know if i called this a banana earlier or the packet of the banana but this is the corn now there's one other little tidbit of information look at this this was on the packaging remember i said always keep that packaging you roll it out to this size they want you to just kind of get it set to fit that once it fits that they show you a cut line to cut it right in half Okay. A little bit more, a little bit more. Right there, here we go, it is cut time. Okay, now let's get these a little more corn-like, huh? Okay. Says about add half of the bag of the grains onto the bumpy bottom tray. Here's the corn. Half the bag. All right. Let's see. Let's read this. Make sure that the grains spread all over the bottom of the tray by slightly tilting the tray. Half of the bag. All right. Well, I think I need to grab a little bowl so I know exactly what half is. Okay. This way, we too, we can also look at what we're doing here. Let's check these out. There's my little corn pieces. All right, so let's just scoop them in gently. Sadly, it looks like some of mine got smushed. Basically, we're just trying to fill all the little, it's almost like a carnival game. Yeah, I got a little broke, a lot of little broken ones. Maybe just a few more to fill that one side. Okay. Now you look, there's two colors in there. There's like a yellow and then an orange, because sometimes corn is multicolored, so now we have a multicolored corn. All right, you can make nice looking corn by rolling it from one end of the tray to the other. After making one, add the rest of the grain to the tray to make another corn candy by following the same instructions. You can make two corn candies. I can imagine this being easier for kids with smaller hands. Okay, so I'm gonna press. I'm gonna need my tool here because it's sticking to me. Turn, press, turn, press as I'm turning. Not bad. That came out pretty nice. Okay, my first little corn on the cob. Let me put that right there. That one came out pretty good. So let's do this. Let's just set that back there. Let's get the rest in here. That 
that's pretty full. Let me see if I can get you just a better, closer angle on that. It's hard when you got big hands running in there, right? Okay, so I just laid that in there. Maybe it is better from the top. Okay, and then I just pressed and then rolled. And as you see, as it comes over the edge, it's stuck. Now me trying to show you. It's okay, just, it's so sticky. There we go. Okay, not bad. I almost want to get a little bit on the ends too. See how that came out? Okay, stuck to the ends. All right, there's my little, little corn on cob. The first one actually came out better where I wasn't trying to show you close. And then, okay, so that is done. Now make the chocolate bananas. Okay, let's move on. I'll be right back. Okay, moving right along. There's a lot in transition here. These guys are set. My fries are set. This is set. And then now they want you to use the same French fry tray. I wiped that out. And it says... Pour two cups of water from the measuring cup into the jagged bottom tray. Mix well, and then you're going to knead that with your hand. That's what it says. Mix well. When the mixture sets, take it out and knead it ten times. Okay. Mmm, that smells good. Here we go. Sometimes I think it's easier to cut off that one edge, that outer edge on the tray, to cut this out, because then it is not high on one side where you have to go over it and reach over it when you're doing things. Then when it's set and kneaded, then I press it into the banana compartment on the other tray, the bigger tray. Let me move around this way so you can see it. Make sure you're kneading it in your hands. If you don't like playing with your food, you could still have fun, but that's all part of it, is getting in there and getting your hands dirty. Of course, they think to wash them first. I guess you could just do it right here. Okay, but I want to feel the consistency. Okay, and it surely does smell like banana. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's take three lumps. One, two, three. A little bit extra in case I need it. Need it. Get it? I'm using this because it's sticky. It does say to use your fingers. And I will need this now. For the tip of this banana. I should be able to turn this over and show it to you without anything dropping out. I'm worried about my little candy apples, but they seem to be holding up pretty good. Let's see. Let's take a chance. Nice, huh? I just noticed my candy apple molds had little divots in the plastic, so hopefully that doesn't... It's going to show through. All right. 
So this probably just needs to set a second. I'm not sure if it tells me what to do or not to do. Let's see. Once that's done, now make the chocolate sauce. Okay, Mo, press it tight with your fingers and leave it on the side. That's what I'm going to do. I will be back. All right, so one cup of water into the jagged bottom tray. So that one's been used three times now, right? Okay, and it says mix well. Press the back of the banana. Okay, then I take the bananas out. Now I did work a little bit more on the bananas, cleaning up the edges, because there's a little bit of off-camera work, but I pretty much do everything on camera. Did it say anything about the flavor of the chocolate sauce? No, it's gotta be chocolate. It's gotta be. I'm looking to see if I see any powder I don't. Okay, so let's just leave that like that for now. I brought in a little plate. One for these, one for these, because basically I have to pop everything out. Put bananas first. But if something else pops out with it, I'm going to have to just run with it. Okay, there's my bananas. Now, of course, you can always spend more time on these. And that's the thing. A lot of times you don't see the time that's spent off camera. Okay, then it says be careful. Open here and be careful. They are sharp and pointy. Put the banana candies on the sheet at the top. Okay. Skewer the banana with the toothpick. That's the step we're on now. Well, step I'm on now is try to open this little pack. Three bananas, three toothpicks. We're done with that, aren't we? Now for these to stand, I'm going to go up pretty high on these. Okay, once that's skewered, then put the banana candies, okay, top it with chocolate sauce using the spoon. That's why I skewered them up pretty far, because I wanted it to hold on and not fall off. Okay, I'll transfer them to this plate. Would you just coat them in chocolate all the way down, or would you want to just leave the tip of the banana like they show in the picture? or the bottom part, exposed. That's kind of how far down they go in the picture on the box. Number two. Yeah, we're almost there. Nice. And number three. All right. Now these. Well, let me do that one a little bit more. A little further down. I think it will just look better. Actually, this probably should have set a little bit. They should have you set this so that it sits so it doesn't get as runny. It smells good. I smell the chocolate. I think we're almost there.
Okay. I'm just going to sprinkle the rest on. Whatever sticks, sticks. I'll transfer these to the display. All right. Those look good. All right. I'll be back. I think the rest is just putting everything together and setting up my display. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I have everything queued up and ready. And I just need to get these out and put the sticks in them. And then I made this little stand. I had some styrofoam from a previous video. I just kind of held together with tape and toothpicks. So I'm gonna put everything on there. I did puncture some little holes in there so I can put the three bananas, the two apples, and then put my corn up there. So they just want these out onto the tray. Oh, and they just pop right out, simple enough. Actually, it almost looks like an ample indentation. Now, remember I said the tray was indented? Okay, that is number one. And number two, here we go. So you think they'll stay on? Let's see, they do. Hopefully they don't slide down on their own. Like I said, I put a little hole there so I can Stick that in there. Number one. Number two. Now they show the corns in the top row. Let's put them up there. Okay, let's get the french fries ready. I don't know if it's gonna stay up there, but we'll at least do our best. Now I do, in all my videos, try everything. Maybe that's something you don't see often in some of these videos. The taste test. Okay, you think that's gonna stay up there? Oh, maybe if I put my bananas in there first. All right, let's do that. Is that the way you're gonna be? One. Two, and three. Look at that. Now these will stay in there. Being held in by the bananas. Okay. I think overall, it came out pretty nice. Let me just give you a clear shot on the white because it's very colorful. And then I can use that maybe as my thumbnail. Look at that. All right, so now you've seen it. I've made it. It took a while, but it was fun to do. What shall I eat first? That would be a good poll question. What would you have eaten first? I'm going to take one of, well, the candy apples are in front, but the corn is the most intriguing to me. So here we go. And the corn. Mmm, grape. It is grape flavored. Very nice. Let's get a french fry out. Here's one of my little fries. That is pineapple for sure. This is going to be apple. Here we go. Apple flavor. Mmm, that's good. Nice apple flavor. And last but not least, banana. Here we go. Mmm, I think I like that one the best. That one in the corn. All right, there you go. Pretty fun little kit. Now, sometimes I go to an extreme, like I make a little base for that. You don't have to do that. You just do whatever you want. You don't even have to shape anything. You could just mix it and eat it. It all depends on what you want to do. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. As always, I'll put a link in the description with a playlist where you can search Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, Pick it up!